want to thank everybody that is tuning in today for this video. And today I am going to be discussing and going over these different terms of permaculture and concepts that I had kind of thrown out in the previous videos on how, you know, we're going to be developing this property. And, you know, not many people fully understand or maybe some people have heard of some of these terms, you know, swales, zuni bowls, rolling dips, you know, all uh, the ponds. I mean, everyone knows what a pond is. So let's go over a little bit, you know, what all of these concepts are that we're doing on the property, you know, what they entail, what's the point of doing all of these, and you know, what is kind of the end goal with what we're trying to achieve here. And if anybody, you know, is interested in these earthworks or any of these concepts, you know, these are things that are primarily in the permaculture world, you know, with, you know, more people kind of on that green revolution almost, uh, so to speak. But it's definitely a lot of things that can be implemented on anybody's land or property or homestead that doesn't necessarily have to entail, you know, going green or really growing, you know, things or plants or gardens. But I think for the most part, everyone, you know, that watches this channel is either thinking, considering or already, you know, on their own homestead or or property and developing it. But let me go over a little bit, you know, what we're striving for and what we're trying to achieve here. All right, let me go over a little bit about these earthworks and some of these permaculture terms that I have been throwing out the last couple of videos, as I said before. So let's start with the swales. I've mentioned the swales a couple times. I've definitely shown some clips. Um, I'm, I'll be showing more clips here and hopefully uh, I'm not moving the camera too fast where people can't see. Um, you know, honestly, it, there's not much detail really to it other than, you know, just the, the dips, how the ditch is formed and the berm because, you know, it's hard to really tell because there's nothing growing yet. Um, we don't have trees planted, you know, this is just the beginning for us, but these are going to be concepts and, you know, these earthworks are going to be super helpful in the end goal that we have for the property. And, you know, kind of the vision that we have for the property is a rejuvenating uh, an attraction for wildlife and just the natural environment. And, you know, basically the things, these earthworks, swales, all these things that we're doing, we can find a lot of these examples in nature. Uh, in fact, we can find plenty of these examples on the property itself. Uh, I mean, behind me, there's a tree, you know, this dead tree, but, you know, underneath we can see these dead branches. And essentially this area behind me has terraced itself with these big rocks. So if you don't know what a terrace is, it's basically a level platform that you usually do on steeper hills, uh, steeper hillsides, you know, looking at 40 degrees and up kind of angle. Um, and those are just the same as swales in the sense that we're slowing the water down. We are capturing more water on the property, holding it on the property more and letting and allowing it to soak in to the soil uh, more so than it's done in, you know, the decades, centuries that it's been <laughs> since weather and all that's been doing its thing. But we're, you know, looking at these swales and these are going to be pr our primary, you know, kind of earthworks around the property. Uh, these earthworks are serving, I think, I, you know, I'd already kind of mentioned they're serving as slowing the water down and allowing it to soak into the soil more effectively than allowing it to just simply sheet flow across the property. And with these swales, they are on contour. And being on contour, I mean that, you know, the swale is on level, 
with the ground. So when we're looking at these swales, sometimes they look like they're at funny angles. It depends on the angle you look at it. It could look like it's going uphill, kind of. But I assure you, all these, I've taken the level stick and my A-frame as well, and all these are on level. So the trenches are level inside of them, as well as just the mounds themselves. So with these mounds, it's adding that topsoil, um, an extra layer of topsoil, I should say, uh, you know, to plant stuff, to essentially kind of fluff up the soil at first and get things going. And then it's also absorbing more off the get go because it's been, you know, essentially tilled up. And that's kind of the case with uh, some projects, you know, sometimes you do have to do some tillage to get things going if you have hard pan soil or clay, anything like that. I'm sure plenty of gardeners know what I'm talking about with them. Um, but that's, you know, the swales are going to be a main contributor of allowing a, a lot of the water we capture, especially during monsoons, to soak in, to rejuvenate or recharge, I should say, the groundwater beneath. And, you know, the end goal is hopefully getting more soakage, more things will be planted, more things will start growing, more perspiration, more cooling effect, a more natural environment that we're creating, which is drawing in more native life and other life that, you know, maybe people scarcely see around, you know, and that's one thing with uh, going into the pond, you know, we did the pond earlier in the year and, you know, coming back in September here, it's, you know, awesome to see that there's, you know, all kinds of life around that pond. There's honeybees, there's, right, you know, the yellow jackets, there's dragonflies, there's water beetles, there's all kinds of life that's going on. And so that's a big part of a lot of these earthworks and these concepts is drawing in the life. You know, it's, uh, you build it and they will come. So, and that's part of, you know, what we are trying to achieve here is we are trying to promote more life. We're trying to rebuild what's kind of been degraded down, overgrazed, uh, left in a state of decimation. And so, you know, looking at this overall, this is, you know, uh, you know, a greening the desert, restorative permaculture, you know, regenerative project kind of, you know, it's all these different terms lumped into one deal because that's what we're striving for, you know, as far as, you know, our interpretation of how we see ourselves for homesteading and trying to provide for ourselves and doing these earthworks on the land are not only going to rejuvenate the land and kind of bring more life to it, but it's also going to bring the abundance uh, for ourselves, you know, in what we grow, because we will be specific on what we grow, you know, as far as going with legume trees, you know, nitrogen fixing trees, different shrubs and bushes. I'll make a whole separate video more specific on those notes. But on that, you know, we've got the pond, so we're drawing in more life already off the bat. You know, we've got a, some of these swales that we did earlier in the year that I sadly did not film kind of in the process, but my friend uh, was on the property during a couple of, of the storms, so I apologize for the grainy video, but that was video of, you know, some of our earthworks in the works, you know, and we got to at least see some video of how they functioned, of how, you know, what, what essentially happened, the cause and the effect. And it was super cool to see how everything filled up. You know, there's a couple tweaks here and there, but it was really cool to see what was actually going on. So, and that's where, you know, we've talked about swales now. Um, let's go into the Zuni bowls a little bit because the Zuni bowls are also just as important, especially because we have the abundance of rocks here, a lifetime worth of rocks, rocks everywhere. And so we've got multiple uses for them. Um, you know, roadways, spillways, blockages, all that stuff. So that uh, the rocks are definitely very, very handy in what 
you know what we're doing here and with the projects that we're taking on as opposed to having to haul in gravel haul in rock you know we've got a lot of these materials and so that's a part of the this journey as well and how we're developing um, the property along with the permaculture these concepts and stuff utilizing what we've got on the property and we've got a lot of good material we've got rocks we've got gravel we've got some sand we've got clay we've got trees <laughs> so we've got a diversity of things to already start with and so that is a big basis of how we are doing things here is a little more naturally a little more bushcraft some people might say um, but Overall, I think this is a, you know, a lot of these things are really cool. They're aesthetically pleasing. They're more natural looking. And on top of it's free. And, you know, we have, all we have to do is uh, do a little bit of work for it, but it's worth it when no money's coming out of our pocket in that respect. <laughs> so, but with these uni bowls, that's what we're utilizing a lot of these rocks for as well, is lining these uh, pits, you could say, with these rocks and, just like the swales, these zuni bowls are also slowing water down, they're slowing momentum, um, but they're also catching sediment. And so that's what uh, Nick and I actually had to do with one of the zuni bowls. After that big rain, we came down and one of the zuni bowls did its job. It, it filled up with sediment. All really good topsoil, nutrient rich stuff that we can now spread on the swales or in a separate garden, which we've started to spread into a separate garden. But when we look at the culvert pipe even to go across the road, we can see that the Zuni Bowl has done its job and its function in capturing sediment, in slowing down the water so that it doesn't clog up the culvert pipe. And so anyone can take note of that for themselves, that this isn't just, you know, some permaculture concept or, you know, for greening the desert kind of thing, you know, this can be something implemented for flood control as well, for, you know, rainwater control or, you know, whatever anybody else can think of, honestly. But it's kind of my big thought is uh, flood control. And, uh, you know, that's kind of the end goal as well, too, because we are on a higher up portion of the property. You know, our neighbor is on a lower part. So a lot of the things that we're going to be doing with these earthworks should actually hopefully help his situation as well as aiding in our situation of creating you know the greenery the food forest all you know all the things with these earthworks and kind of greening the desert and <laughs> everything else with them so what other earthworks have uh, we done so the rolling dips are another aspect here and they are very similar to swales except they definitely have more of the angle and their main purpose is to just simply funnel the water uh, away from the driveway and it's just a more natural uh, kind of culvert you could think of that is basically just like the swale it's got a slight dip to it not as big of a mound because we're not trying to slow um, we're not trying to capture the water so much on that part. We're more so trying to funnel it away from the road so it doesn't create a mucky mess on the road. And so I'll have to get video footage uh, when those rolling dips are more complete. Uh, and I'll show the example of the truck driving over those rolling dips and a little bit of how those more so function. But if you can get the idea that we're rolling down, it's got the dip and it's creating enough gap where water isn't spilling over it's being funneled away but we're also creating a very nice gradual rollover for vehicles and trailers to to go over without scraping the bottom without you know causing a huge bumpy <laughs> chaotic disaster in the vehicle so I am trying to think of, uh, you know, this dry air, this Arizona dry air. It's, uh, I've, if you can't tell in my voice a little bit, I need some water here. So if there's anything I haven't covered, honestly, with, uh, you know, what we're doing with these earthworks, our, you know, vision, you know, for future, you know, greening the desert, we're trying to capture more water, hold more water on the property, as much water as we can hold with ponds, these swales, these zuni bowls, all of these things are meant for soaking into the property, holding as much water on the property as possible. 
and essentially being able to grow more on the property. Seeing as we're in, in a desert, we definitely can use as much water as we can get, especially you can see this fine dead tree behind me again. <laughs> But I appreciate everyone that has stuck around through the whole video. I appreciate everyone's support. I appreciate everyone watching. And uh, if you're new to the channel, thanks for watching. Definitely hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty more things to do, plenty more details, uh, specific things to talk about. Uh, I apologize if this is still too fast maybe for some people. I've got, a, I feel like there's a lot of things to talk about and sometimes I can't articulate things in just a couple sentences. I need to give lots of, de you know, giving lots of details, trying to, I guess, give people the visual in the best words that I can without, you know, using too many um, scientific terms, you know, terms that not everybody uses essentially. So thanks everybody for your support. Thanks for sticking through if you stuck around this long in the video. Definitely leave a comment. Uh, helpful crit criticism is awesome. I appreciate the feedback in the previous videos of everyone's feedback. Helpful criticism, pointers, tips, comments or questions are also welcome. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. It would definitely help me out to be able to show people, to teach people, to sh you know, uh, give the example to people of how these concepts, how all of these things in working with nature can really benefit all of us and not break the bank, but also get us more back in touch with nature, even if you know we're not totally about the environment or anything like that. I think it can bring us all a, a great peace of mind in one form or another. But uh, leave your comments. Let me know what uh, anybody thinks about the video, about what uh, has been said here about the earthworks. Questions or comments, please leave them. Definitely subscribe, and I'm going to go get some water now. Peace.